Now, from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather tonight. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go now, heading right on into our Monday evening. Again, hopefully your Monday afternoon went well. Hopefully you stay nice and cool because it was another day where our actual high temperature was officially a DFW did soar above 100. In fact, this is now the 30th day uh, for the year of the season that we've seen at least 100 degrees at DFW. We'll talk more about that coming up, uh, but I can tell you as we kind of look into the crystal ball into the extended part of the forecast, it appears as though we've got quite a few more triple digits on the way. Again, more on that coming up. Uh, but here is your Monday evening. And again, we will slowly be easing out of the triple digits down through the 90s. Uh, there is a 10% probability of a stray shower thunderstorm as we go through the evening. Uh, we've still got that little outflow boundary in the area. Right now, there's no real indication that we're even going to see one shower thunderstorm near it but at least through the evening hours kind of during peak heating so to speak uh the remains that very low end 10 percent probability again we'll talk in detail about that coming up uh but there it is again day number 30 of at least 100 degrees or above at dfw keep in mind a typical summer we would see about 20 days Again, that's an average. So there's, of course, some summers where there's quite a few more, some summers where there's less. And again, if you remember last summer, again, it was also a pretty hot summer as well, uh, 47. That was the total amount for the entire year. And of course, the record is still back from 2011, the brutal summer, uh, where we had 71 days, again, total for the calendar year. But here were your daytime highs. DFW is now officially bounced up to 102. Uh, again, last hour, they were still at 100. So again, 102 now, some 106s out to the west looks pretty hot there uh, but notice up along the red river valley some 90s again that's where some of that rain cooled air from up in oklahoma was able to at least sneak across the border again it's not much in the way of heat relief but again compared to the triple digits again some temperatures in the 90s uh, again that's not a bad thing right so it's kind of that divide in temperatures again it's a little mini outflow boundary and again we've been watching it as a possible and again i stress possible trigger of an isolated shower thunderstorm again as we head into the evening so mckinney only 96 in fact the little outflow boundary you can see in fact it was draped right across the metroplex denton the actual high today was only 99. Again, meanwhile, you look down in Southern Tarrant County, down around the Burleson area, 106. So again, you can see, yes, that's a big temperature divide we had across the Metroplex. Now, tomorrow, the fire danger in earnest does begin to come back. And in fact, we do have brand new red flag fire danger warnings here. Uh, this is for all of our Western counties, does include the Metroplex. This time does include Dallas and Ellis County as well. And again, the bottom line, uh, you know, no outdoor burning tomorrow. Anything that could cause a spark, avoid it. And of course, don't throw those cigarette butts uh, down on the ground. Uh, excessive heat warning also does continue through this evening as well. So again, really a lot of things factoring in with this ongoing heat wave. You can see that little black line right there. That's the little outflow boundary that worked in from some earlier rain and storms up in Oklahoma along that little black line there. That's what we're going to be watching through the evening for the potential of maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Again, right now, the probability it's only about a 10% shot, I think, for most of us. In fact, maybe for all of us, we do remain dry through the evening. So connect the line here. Again, you can't see that donut hole. That is the area of high pressure. That's the summer heat dome. It's began to kind of flatten down a little bit, slide a little bit further to the west. That's put us in North Texas a little bit more into that northwesterly flow pattern. So we have the door open, even overnight tonight, for some storms that are going to form out to the west by sunrise tomorrow morning to potentially uh, be weakening and working their way into the area. Uh, earlier today when we talked, it looked maybe a little more probable the model not as excited now. Let me go and roll this into motion here. Again, you can see as we go through the evening, the model now basically completely dry. There we go. If you look up in Oklahoma, you can see a little smattering in green, a few showers and thunderstorms possible up there. But again, outside of that, even overnight tonight, the model really just not doing anything here in North Texas. So this is a mostly dry forecast the way it appears now. Upper 70s to right around 80 overnight. Again, it's about a 20% probability for a stray shower thunderstorm with that complex coming in from the west overnight. Again, with the newest data there, most of us do remain dry. We're back into the triple digits for tomorrow. We are only into the upper 70s to around 80 Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then as we get into Wednesday, more triple digits on the way. We'll keep that 20% probability for tomorrow, Tuesday, also Wednesday as well. More coming up.